Hi there, it's John with Inspectflix, and in this video, we're going to talk about foundation walls that have heaved uh, and settled on residential construction. I'm going to show you how to identify it on the exterior without even going inside the house. I'm at a home right now that was built in the 1920s. It's been updated in many areas. Uh, with the air conditioner is new, the roof is new, uh, they even re skim coated the stucco on this beautiful um, custom built home. So, what we're looking at here um, at the corner of the foundation here and the stucco siding, um, this point here is going to be a good identification as to where the foundation flushes up with the actual stucco siding. So, here you can actually see how close it is uh, with just in a, uh, I would say, probably like a quarter of an inch. And same thing with this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with my um, my level here at the numbers. So right here we're looking at probably inch and a half, I would say, maybe an inch and a quarter of difference. And when you look down the wall, you can see how flush that is. So it's pretty pretty plumb, and the wall here is pretty plumb also with the uh, the ruler. So let's go down this wall area here and I'm going to show you the bowing on the underside here. Um, so as I take my level and my measuring device here and put it all the way in, you'll see that it's now at probably about three and a half inches. Uh, as a matter of fact, the sill plate I noticed wasn't even touching underneath here of that foundation. I can get my hand underneath this area and I'm feeling the cool air in the basement right here. Right now I'm touching the sill plate that's supposed to be sitting on the foundation. So the back wall of this house has heaved in several inches. The same thing has happened over here on this side of the house. So let me show you another example. So on this end here we're looking at about two inches. Okay. If we go to the end of the wall over here, again, about two inches. Now let's go to the center of the wall where there was bowing. And I would say at this location is probably the most. And now we're at four and a quarter. So this whole foundation wall has bowed in on the side of the house and also on the back of the house. This is going to be a very expensive repair which will probably require some tiebacks. Um, and that's what uh, you will find with heaving on foundation walls.